in one of my previous videos, I said you must invest in learning and education because whatever sits in here is not impacted by inflation, recession and gives you lifelong returns. The fixed deposit here is the best deposit which you can make today. But then a student emailed me saying that, sir, the college education is not able to meet the industry and academia demand. So the learning is not happening. So how do we bridge this gap? So in today's video, we'll discuss the same and I'll also tell you how can you bridge this gap. And to start with, college is an institution where you learn. It is supposed to make you industry ready and employable if it is a professional degree such as Masters in Biotechnology, Biochemistry, Microbiology, Cell Biology, Molecular Biology, Genetics or whatnot, right? But where it all starts going wrong is college is a collective education system and on the top of it there is a hierarchy of university and university has a, their own mandates. On the top of university there is UGC, they have their own mandates. So this three layer of mandates finally becomes a ballistic missile to the student. Now, if the college follows all these norms, then the learning takes a back seat and the policy formation and policy following becomes the norm. And that is where things start going wrong. What happens in college even today is majority of the college, not all of them, some of them are really good like IBAB Bangalore. It's really amazing, um, you know, applied biology uh, college. So I'm not talking about good colleges. I'm talking about some of them or you know, most of them actually. They focus on theory. Okay, so the teacher will come, talk and talk method. They will just teach you and go away. There is no focus on practical. In fact, there are many colleges where there is no lab at all, right? And that is where my urge to all of you is please join a college where there is a proper lab where they will be able to teach you theory also. Otherwise, you will end up becoming unemployable. Now, at the same time, industry is demanding focused applied biological knowledge, right? Which in the absence of practical, the college cannot provide. So that is the first biggest problem which your college is creating, okay? The second one is now they have taught you, now they're expecting you to remember everything. Like as if you are a memory machine, right? Or a recording machine. So they start pushing rote learning because there is a mandate from university that there will be exams. So they, they start pushing for rote learning. Now this rote learning is not useful in industry. They don't want you to become a uh, you know, knowledge recording machine. Instead, they want innovative minds who can design experiments and who can execute these experiments, analyze the data and come back with desired results. Right. So you can see that the college is keeping you busy with rote learning, which is of no use in the industry. So that is the second problem. Now let's come to the third problem. So while your college is keeping busy into rote learning and uh, theoretical knowledge, they are not teaching you applied biology. Right. While your industry is demanding application of the concepts in real world laboratory. Right. So while there is no lab and there is a big lab, demand is of a person who can go into the lab and execute research and here they're not even allowing you to stand in the lab. So that's where the problem is. Now, let's look at the bigger problem. The bigger problem is the next point, which is UGC has mandated, so university has designed, so college has a syllabus, right? And all colleges have the same syllabus and all those syllabuses outdated. They're outdated, they are completely living in the 1990s while the industry is uh, trying to reach 2030s and 2040s, right? So many HRs from biotech companies reach out to me and say, Shekhar, give me a candidate from a top college. I don't want a candidate who has no ex exposure. And that is where we'll be like, okay, who, whom to, you know, push forward. And that is where we have realized that this age-old outdated syllabus is not allowing you to absorb and absorb the latest from the industry. The latest technologies you don't know, latest uh, techniques they are not teaching you in the college and then the result is unemployment. This unemployment leads to no placement and this leads to students coming to us and saying there is no scope in biotech but the truth is the college is leaving you unemployable, the industry is already waiting for an employable candidate who has latest knowledge. That's my next point. College leaves you unemployable and industry won't hire such unemployable people and that is why colleges, uh, the industry doesn't hire freshers. 
They're looking for freshers who have experience, who have the right exposure, the right mindset, right creative design thinking to design experiments and achieve results. Right. And that is where the last point. No emphasis on data analytics. Now, Everything is data. A company or a biotech uh, industry is, is a, you know, it's a secret uh, organization to create a dent in the universe. That's what a biotech company is. But the, the colleges are not teaching you data analytics, right? They're not teaching you biostatistics. They're not teaching you how to take sample data and interpret results, right? And in the absence of all this, I'm not saying all, all the colleges, but majority of them, in the absence of no emphasis on data analytics, our students after the experiment are clueless what to do. And this big gap which you're seeing from the academia side, from the industry side, is causing all the tussle and is leaving you unemployable. And that is where we come into picture. My job is not to tell you or curse your college. My job is to tell you that there is a possible way to bridge this gap. And how do you bridge this gap? By investing in your brain. Don't rely only on this paper tiger, which is university or college degree. It's of no use. This paper tiger, this paper degree, which they will give you is of no use. The truth is you have to upskill, reskill, cross-skill. You have to expose yourself to newer approaches of research. You have to be independent in design thinking. You have to be independent in creative thinking. And then you can design, you can propose better hypotheses. You can propose, you can design better experiments. You can conduct it. You can conclude it. And then you can interpret it. That's the beauty of research, right? So to learn all of this, Biotechnica came up with a variety of offerings for all of you. Certification courses, internships, workshops, and of course, if you want to do a PhD, CSI net coaching and gate coaching. This is a 360 degree solution which we have built to bridge this gap in between academia and industry. And we are constantly striving to help every researcher out there to become a better researcher, employable researcher, which the industry will invite. So if you want to become a part of this odyssey called Biotechnica, then come join us in any of our courses or internships and we will make you employable where the college fails, Biotechnica succeeds. Thank you so much for watching this video. Let's come together to bridge this gap which exists in between academia and industry together. Thank you so much. Take care. Bye-bye.